The summary of Execution The Discipline of Getting Things Done. Brought to you by Click Through College. Part 1 Why Execution is Needed. 1. Execution Defined. Execution is introduced as not merely the tactic but the core discipline of getting things done. Bossidi and Sharon express that execution isn't just a set of tasks. It's a system of getting things done through people, following the plan, and achieving desired outcomes. Execution is about bringing the company's strategy to fruition, making it come alive in the actual day-to-day workings of the business. 2. The importance of execution. The authors lay out a strong case for why execution is essential for any successful business. They argue that many businesses fail to realize their strategies not because they're flawed, but because they aren't executed properly. The ability to execute is a distinct skill that sets apart successful companies from the rest. 3. Execution as a discipline. Execution is further explained as a discipline and a critical part of the strategy. It's about having a comprehensive understanding of the business, its people, and its environment. It is also a systematic process of rigorously discussing hows and whats, questioning, tenaciously following through, and ensuring accountability. 4. The role of leadership in execution. A substantial part of this section is dedicated to discussing the role of leadership in execution. The authors argue that leaders, from the CEO to middle management, have a crucial role in ensuring execution. They must be engaged not only in the formulation of strategy but also in its execution. Leaders must be realistic and honest about the company's realities, and they need to follow through on agreed-upon strategies and actions. 5. The Gap Nobody Knows Here, Bossidi and Sharon introduce the concept of the gap between strategy and execution. Many companies have ambitious strategies, but there's often a gap when it comes to delivering on those strategies. This gap is rarely acknowledged and addressed. Yet, closing this gap is crucial for the success of any organization. The authors propose that execution is the tool that bridges this gap. 6. Building Blocks of Execution Towards the end of Part 1, the authors introduce the three building blocks of execution. People, strategy, and operations. People are a key element because without the right team in place, execution isn't possible. The authors discuss the importance of selecting the right people, developing them, and ensuring they're in the right roles. Strategy is about making a realistic assessment of the company's strengths and weaknesses and using it to determine the company's path forward. And operations is about the day-to-day running of the company, ensuring the strategic plans are implemented effectively. In conclusion, Part 1 of Execution, the Discipline of Getting Things Done, makes a compelling argument for the importance of execution in achieving business success. The authors contend that execution is not just a matter of implementing a plan, but a discipline that should be integrated into a company's strategy, its goals, and its leadership. They argue that the key to successful execution lies in managing people, strategy, and operations effectively. Execution is positioned as a critical factor that differentiates successful companies from unsuccessful ones. It's not just about strategy. It's about delivering on that strategy and getting the job done. Part 2. The Building Blocks of Execution 1. People the heart of execution. The authors posit that people are the core of any business operation. However, getting the right people for the right job is often not as straightforward as it seems. This section provides insight into the process of assessing, selecting, and developing people within the organization. The authors also discuss leadership traits and emphasize the importance of nurturing leadership within the ranks. They argue that it's vital to identify potential leaders, develop their skills, and place them where they can make the most significant impact. For this, a robust review process that evaluates people objectively based on performance and behaviors is necessary. Furthermore, honesty plays a critical role in people's process, especially when providing feedback or making tough decisions like letting people go. 2. Strategy. The foundation of execution. The authors underscore that a strategy isn't just about vision or direction. It's about the realistic roadmap that will guide the organization from where it is today to where it wants to be tomorrow. The strategy process, as per the authors, involves assessing the company's current status, defining the desired future state, and then laying out a realistic, feasible, and flexible plan to reach that state. The strategic plan should reflect the organization's capabilities and take into consideration potential risks and market conditions. 
a robust and effective strategy is one that's well understood throughout the organization, has been discussed and debated at different levels, and is linked to operational realities. 3. Operations. The last link in the chain of execution. Operations refer to the day-to-day activities that keep the business running and directly contribute to its profitability and sustainability. This section emphasizes that the operations process is the final link in the execution chain. Operational plans and processes are the means by which the strategic goals become everyday actions. An efficient operational process requires clear goals, rigorous follow-ups, and a comprehensive review mechanism. It's essential to establish timelines, identify bottlenecks, and set key performance metrics that would indicate the effectiveness of operations. Operations also need to be flexible and adaptable to unexpected changes or new opportunities. 4. The importance of robust dialogue. Throughout the discussion of these building blocks, Basidi and Sharon emphasize the significance of open, honest, and robust dialogue. Whether it's about people, strategy, or operations, having meaningful conversations is integral to effective execution. These discussions help in uncovering realities, scrutinizing plans, making sound decisions, and ensuring everyone is on the same page. It fosters a culture of accountability and learning, which is essential for execution. To conclude, Part 2 of Execution, the discipline of getting things done, delves into the three fundamental building blocks of execution, people, strategy, and operations. The authors emphasize that these are interdependent and need to be managed holistically. The right people, a sound and feasible strategy, and effective operations are the foundations for successful execution. It's not just about having these elements in place but about managing them effectively, ensuring they align with the organization's goals, and cultivating a culture of accountability and dialogue around them. The premise is clear. Execution is not an isolated task or a single event, but a continuous process that should be integrated into the business's overall strategy and culture. Part 3. The Three Core Processes of Execution 1. The People Process. Getting the right people in the right roles. The people process is about building a strong team and ensuring that individuals are placed in roles that align with their skills and capabilities. The authors emphasize the importance of evaluating individuals based on their performance and behaviors, providing constructive feedback, and fostering a culture of continuous improvement. They stress that leaders should be actively involved in evaluating and developing people, rather than delegating it solely to the HR department. A critical aspect of the people process is ensuring that there is a clear alignment between people and the organization's strategy and goals. 2. The strategy process, linking strategy to operations. The strategy process involves translating the organization's strategy into actionable steps that drive execution. Basidi and Sharon highlight the need for a clear and well-communicated strategy that is linked to operational realities. They emphasize that leaders must actively lead the strategy process and involve key individuals at different levels of the organization in strategic discussions. Additionally, the authors stress the importance of breaking down the strategy into specific, measurable objectives and ensuring that everyone understands their role in executing the strategy. Regular strategy reviews and adaptability to changing market conditions are also crucial to maintaining an effective strategy process. 3. The operations process, making strategy everyone's job. The operations process focuses on the day-to-day activities that directly contribute to executing the strategy. It involves setting clear objectives, monitoring progress, and making necessary adjustments. Basidi and Sharon highlight the importance of strong operational discipline and a comprehensive review process. They stress that leaders should create a culture of accountability where individuals are responsible for their performance and contribution to the execution of the strategy. The operations process requires effective communication, collaboration, and alignment across different functions and levels within the organization. 4. The interdependence of the three core processes. The authors emphasize that the three core processes of execution, people, strategy, and operations, are interdependent and must be managed collectively. People are essential for effective strategy execution, and a sound strategy is meaningless without the right people to implement it. Strong operations are vital to delivering the strategy, and effective operations rely on the right people and a well-defined strategy. 
Basidi and Sharon highlight the importance of integrating these processes and creating a cohesive execution system within the organization. 5. Creating a culture of execution. Throughout Part 3, the authors emphasize the importance of creating a culture that values and promotes execution. They stress that execution should be ingrained in the organization's DNA and should not be seen as a separate activity or initiative. Basidi and Sharon encourage leaders to lead by example, establish clear expectations, and foster a culture of accountability, honesty, and continuous learning. They highlight the significance of open and honest dialogue, where issues can be addressed, lessons can be learned, and improvements can be made. In conclusion, Part 3 of Execution, the discipline of getting things done, provides practical guidance on managing the three core processes of execution, people, strategy, and operations. The authors emphasize the interdependence of these processes and the need for holistic management. By effectively managing these processes and creating a culture of execution, organizations can bridge the execution gap and drive successful strategy implementation. The principles outlined in Part 3 serve as a roadmap for leaders seeking to create a culture of execution and achieve their business objectives. The summary of execution, the discipline of getting things done.